An update this morning on a controversial government initiative we first told you about last month. A House committee grilled State Department officials Thursday, citing original reporting from CBS News. The issue spending hundreds of millions of dollars to replace rundown embassies with better looking buildings without sacrificing security. Nancy Cordes is with us once again from Capitol Hill, where lawmakers from both parties are openly skeptical of that project. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Ugly is the word that Secretary Kerry has used in the past to describe some U.S. embassies. And frankly, some Republicans have said the same thing. But they argue those cookie cutter embassies were easy to build. They were cheap and they worry that the new approach will cost money and time. The total project cost for London is near a billion dollars. If you a billion dollars. How many people At a tense it? hearing, lawmakers questioned the cost of the striking glass cube being built to house the U.S. Embassy in London. They could have spent $200 million less and we could have built two other embassies. The London Embassy's sleek design reflects a new emphasis on architecture, which the State Department embraced in 2011, dubbing it design excellence. It's a shift from the Bush years when U.S. embassies like these in Johannesburg and Bulgaria were built rapid fire using one standard design. Lydia Muniz directs the State Department's overseas building office. I just know that we can build even better buildings, right? What we're doing is what we should be doing, what bureaucrats should be doing. But Republicans they're, and Democrats they're said they're still waiting for proof that design excellence will be just as cost area. effective so as the old approach. Why can't we get the information? There seems to be some reluctance, and I don't know why that is. In response to a CBS morning news program and a CBS evening news program, State Department was able to put out it's a fact sheet. They did produce those documents, but again, no documents produced to the United States Congress. A former State Department official who was asked two years ago to study embassy security testified that beauty might be coming at the expense of safety. The people we talked to were not happy in their role, uh, with their role in the selection process and felt very strongly that the pendulum had shifted from security to design. That is simply inaccurate. Under Secretary of State Patrick Kennedy disputed that finding in a recent interview with CBS this morning. We have reviewed our processes and feel very, very comfortable that our use of the design initiative gets us the security we need and the functionality we need at the best possible price. He argues that over time, buildings that are tailored to their environments will age better and require less maintenance. But it's really difficult to test that assertion at this point, Gail, because the first building using the design excellence approach is being built in Mexico City right now and won't be completed until 2019. Got it, Nancy. Thank you.